Is this good content? Got the old Tundra and the Paracamper just maxed out. We just short of 5,000 miles. I'll make 5,000 miles today. So it's been a long ride. Been a long ride. The longest. This is my personal best record. Longest drive. I'm gonna keep pushing on. I gotta go to Kansas and pick up a paraglider, and then I'm gonna go home. I miss home. This is the homesickness getting to me. It's time to go. You know, there comes a time when every journey must end, and a new journey will begin. My journey in the mountains ended yesterday. I was on top of Teton Pass sitting in my chair shooting a time lapse watching the weather i could go east i could go west east was the was the way to go i looked at how long it's gonna take i looked at how many days i had left i knew it right then in my my heart of hearts that the journey through the mountains and the cool weather was over and i was fixing to have to drive down to some lower elevations and here i am it's uh 10 in the morning and it's it's pushing 80 something i'm sure of it i feel it heating up sun's baking high pressure it's haze. I think there's smoke from something burning. I've seen smoke over everywhere. Everywhere's so hazy. I'm almost sure that's what it is. I can't smell it, but I smelled the sage strong yesterday out in the uh, whatever valley that was up there about 8,000 feet. Smelled great. Smelled piney. All right, coffee's made. I got me a bath on the side of the road. I'm fitting to head down this road right here, and I'm going to head home. But I had to get something to end the story with. I still, it's, look here. I've been here long enough to get a nice hot shower in my own bathroom, brush my teeth, got sorted out, check my emails, got caught up with the paperwork. And, you know, two weeks off is two weeks off. And uh, the life don't stop because you had to go on an adventure drive flying trip. You know, this was more of a drive than it was a flying thing. Sometimes I travel to places to fly. I'll go to a place and I'll just stay there and fly there, learn the spot, whatever. But this was more about covering ground. This was about driving, these kind of adventures started when I was young when I got my driver's license I always enjoyed long drives I just driving as a thing I've always kind of enjoyed whether it be with friends or alone or listening to music oftentimes life catches up it's expensive to drive around so you have to have some you know, extracurricular income to do something like that but it was neat getting home and seeing my pleasant looking clouds that nice soft gentle thermals there's no wind to speak of I got a time lapse going on it Whatever I was gonna say in this video, I never really said. Being alone, solo traveling, you can move fast. You have to wait on no one. There's some real advantages to being by yourself and going on a solo adventure. Like the ground you can cover is, you know, obviously you saw in the title there, the thumbnail, the 6,000 miles or 5,800 something miles, 13 days. I spent, I would have guesstimate approximately half of that time just totally by myself. Probably the longest span that I had alone was on the way back. Well, I guess my last true contact with people was in Missoula. So from there, I went down to Bozeman, Three Forks, Yellowstone, Grand Teton, Wyoming, Colorado, Kansas. All that I spent by myself, just driving, thinking about the stuff that I had just done. It was time to go home. I remember reflecting about the trip occasionally, but what can you really reflect upon? I plan for it. Let's talk about plans. Now, when you're planning for an adventure vacation trip, the one thing that I didn't do was actually make hard fast plans it was just to go north and west you know i had some maybe some goals some destinations but no time frames i really didn't you know lock myself in to have to be here at a certain time have to do a certain thing like a certain way what i found is probably the most enjoyable vacation time that i've come across is when you mark the time off but don't pick a destination until it's time to go and when it's time to go you can base your destination on weather and just make a move. Say, I'm gonna take this week off. And when that week comes up, you pull open the old forecast and you say, where's it gonna be? How far can I go? 
and where's the best weather is going to be where I need where I can go. Can I reach the good weather and hang out there is sort of the question. And if you're living in a truck, you can you don't have to have hotel reservations or anything of that nature. Just just a rough idea of the direction you want to go. In this case, I wanted to see what it would look like out west and explore that area via paramotor and vehicle. And I did both and you know, mission accomplished. So hooray for me, pat on my back. But I guess the short of it is I got what I needed from the trip. I got what I needed from it. And if you're even considering doing anything like this, even if it's just a weekend trip, you know, schedule off a weekend, when you get off work, look at your weather forecast and say, I can drive five, six hours in one direction or another, go to a good spot, capitalize on that good weather, and then drive five or six hours back. And that's a good weekend trip. My day trip limit is a four hour drive and that's maximum, maximum. If I go past four hours, oh, I, I just can't do it. I can't do it in my, I'm not that, Sprightly. Eight hours on the road per day is where I sort of draw the line. I don't want to drive any more than eight hours a day, unless it's a hard push, and we've all done hard pushes, but you can't do those consistently and get away with it. Especially if you go somewhere to do like an adventure flight or something, or free flight, that stuff, it, it takes energy as well. So you're tired after the flight. Then if you have a real long drive home, that could become dangerous. So don't, don't hem yourself up time-wise, but Certainly that's the way to do it. I don't know what you got out of this video. I don't know what I got out of this video I just thought I should say something about the trip. Maybe I'll just end it with some clips here Let you watch some of the adventures that I had It was great. It was great That's that's what I could say about it. I enjoyed it. I'll do it again another time go into another direction till then It'll be right back to our regularly scheduled programming. Adventure Fly Time with Kyle is over after this video. And I believe up next we're going to be fixing a Atom 80 exhaust silencer, doing a full rebuild on that. And I've got some other maintenance videos coming up for Paramotor. So if you're here for that and you've watched this long, consider getting the thumbs up button. Uh, old Clickarooski, they say it's good. I really don't know. I really don't care. You can click all that stuff down there if you want. And or not, or not, and that's fine with me too. That's fine with me too. It's still terrible content. <laughs> Much love y'all, call out. <laughs>